Hey everybody, good morning. Here we go again. Uh, let's see what we have planned for today. Downloaded the camera stuff because I'm trying to figure out how to do this best. Filming myself, setting up tripods, setting up gimbals. Now I have the GoPro in my hand. It's harder than I thought. All right, so today we have to do a, uh, a dethatching on a yard. And after that, I'm going to load up the dump trailer. I believe this is what we're going to do. We'll see how time, time works out. Load up the dump trailer with all the dead grass that's back there using the skid steer. Uh, we'll take all that dead grass to the dump and get rid of it in preparation because in March we have a lot of dethatching and uh, short cutting or scalping of the zoysia grasses. We have a lot of that scheduled. So uh, it's, prep it's uh, basically preparation time. We gotta get this truck off of this trailer, put it on the dump trailer that's out there. Does not get any easier than that. That's the first time I ever did that. I used a GoPro set it up here on the bumper and then use it as a backup camera. Man, I got that on, well, you saw me back up a little bit, but that was freaking easy. I, got, I might have to use that a lot more often. Because I had the GoPro linked to my phone, I had my phone in the truck and I was using the app to view it. Got pretty close to right on there. Now it's time for me to get the ramps out of here, get the ply board, Plywood, plywood that we use as the board that goes over the ramps so I can get my mower up in there. Watch how fast this happens. It's gonna be like a blink of an eye like that. Just like that, we're loaded up. We're ready to go. Uh, let's just, just hit, let's go. Let's just load this thing up. Well, it's loaded up. Let's just close this thing up, hit the road, get to the property, get this over with, because I want to come back here. I'm really excited to play with the skid steer. I see how it does with loading up the dead grass. Um, it's just a bucket. I don't know if that grass is just gonna push forward. Uh, I don't know, might have to get a grapple. Like one of those trash grapple grabbing the claws that come down to hold the stuff in the bucket. But we'll find out. Let's, we'll figure it out. We just rolled up to the property. I talked to the customer and we discussed this a little bit more. What this one is going to be is going to be a three-step process. Today we're here to do a a dethatching and a light cut on the property. I'm not going to cut too far into it. There's a frost possibly coming this weekend, so we don't want to create more problems. But I want to get the heavy grass out of the way so tomorrow when we come and do the core aeration and put the top dressing down, that top dressing will get down to the, to the soil level where it needs to be. But the problem that we're facing with this yard, it's very uneven. There's a lot of good growth and a lot of bad growth, or no growth, I should say. It's like three inches tall or two and a half inches tall in some areas and in other areas it's only a half inch tall and that's because of the compacted soil and just the erratic nutrients all over the place because of clay and sand all mixed in there so what we are going to do with the aeration and the top dressing of compost is put a lot of nutrients back into the sand clay mixture and organic material and it's just going to pop in the springtime but in the springtime when it's ready to pop that's when we are going to uh aggressively cut into this lawn i mean we're going to almost scalp it take off all the dead material when there's uh, no more chance of a frost but i'll show you the property we'll talk about that at some other point in time this is what we're talking about uh, it might be hard it's very low area here very fluffy over there low area low area low area it's just very splotchy 
around the side here, the whole side yard. It's in the sun, you might be able to see it better. You see it coming up here, it's very thick here. Give it the nutrients that it needs, give it the organic material that it needs. And in the springtime, this is gonna be one happy, happy yard. All right, so everything is all prepped. Let's see if I can get on this mower one-handed because the GoPro's in the other one. And roll on and then we'll do a, it's time for some time lapse after that. So that's about it on the process. I'm gonna go do the backyard and the side yard. You don't need to watch that. You've seen that already. Um, then we get to go to the dump. Okay, so it is now three weeks later. We never made it to the dump. I never got the grass loaded into this trailer. Every time I thought we were gonna get some time, we just had to go out and do more estimates. The phone just keeps on ringing, but that's a good thing. I'm not complaining, maybe a little bit. But uh, anyway, okay, so now we have time this afternoon to load the trailer up. Maybe I'll have time to get to the dump after we're done getting this thing filled up. So let's just go over to the grass pile. Okay, let's go get the skid steer. I'm also trying out this new microphone by DJI. We'll see how it works. I'm not sure if it's gonna pick up my voice inside the skid steer. It's pretty loud, it's old, it's rattly, kind of like me. sliding out. I didn't really have to jump up in there and pitchfork it out. That's, that's my biggest fear. Now, I always think the worst. Why don't we do these things the first time? 
my mind just goes right to the worst possible scenario and then I just freak out and I'm like, ah, I'm not gonna do it. This one worked out okay. So heck yeah, I am very happy with that. Uh, now I will be more comfortable doing more of this detaching work because we've been storing a ton of grass in our house, mostly because I was afraid to do this. So I had to get over the fear. Now we have the skid steer, it makes everything a lot easier too. Um, that's This was my big hurdle that I had to get over. So it's done. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Ha, 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 ha.